Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 7 Part 2, Serpent Isle. There's a guy here we can talk to. Let's go ahead and do that. Ah, one of Monitor's female pikemen. I am Zulith, Chancellor of Fallen. It is mine honor and duty to serve thee. I was not expecting to find you out here. Uh, tell me about the storms. Quite disruptive. They have totally depleted our fishing fleet. Great Captain Gar Garth. Doth have plans laid for rebuilding the ships, but twould not be safe until these storms subside. Great Captain Joth is in charge of finding the means to sustain the city until this unusual weather clears. Uh, tell me about the Great Captains. The Great Captains are the counselors to Lady Yelinda, ruler of Fawn. There are three of them, Garth, Joth, and Volden. Uh, tell me about uh, Great Captain Garth. Garth comes from a fine family. He is the youngest member of the council, but wisely tempers his views to those of the senior council members. Garth is also something of a ladies' man, I fear. Uh, what about Joth? Joth was the finest sea captain before he was injured. He, favor he favors beginning to rebuild the fleet now, but hath deferred to Volden in Volden's opinion that it would not be safe to do so at this time. Uh, duties? "'Tis their honor to oversee the fleets in all trade matters. "'They are all seamen who have been appointed to their post in recognition of their expertise. Uh, "'Tell me about Volden. "'Volden doth have a history of service to Fawn. "'He was unanimously nominated for the council position by his fellow captains. "'Volden works in conjunction... "'How do you... Unani how do you, you... "'Well, okay, maybe it's not the great captains.' I was about to say, how do you unanimously uh, vote on someone else when you've got two people? <laughs> well, I mean, you can with two, but still, it's like... Not exactly that impressive of a feat. Volden works in conjunction with the Captain of the Guard to assure Fallen's safety. He is senior on the Council. Maybe it's the Captain of the Guard is one of the Captains who votes. Uh, talk about Garth's family. His family doth own a shipping business. They have been merchant seamen for generations. As his mother's youngest son, he he took the council seat when his cousin resigned. He, his elder brother is now in charge of the family's shipping business. Uh, injured, you said? Joth's ships ran aground during a storm. When his injuries would not allow him to return to sea, Lady Yolinda most graciously offered him a seat on the council. Uh, not safe, you said? Who would cut the wood to build the ships for fear of more goblins? And no sane person would venture into the open sea with these storms arriving without warning. No, we must wait until this weather clears before we can hope to begin rebuilding our fleet. Uh, tell me about uh, the history. Volden served Fawn as a member of the city guard for in his younger days. Before he became a council member, he was a fishing captain. Uh, fear of more goblins? Everyone knows that goblins breed like flies upon carrion. Even though the tower hath been retaken, it will not be long before they are back. Let's change the subject. Of course. What dost thou desire to know? Uh, tell me about the goblins. Most horrible creatures. Dost thou know that without the possibility of escape by ship because of the storms, I had actually feared that the city might be lost? Well, the city's not on a three-hour tour, so you don't have to worry about it. Knowest thou the brave pikemen that restored our safety? Hello? I'm sure that Lady Yolinda would like to thank them personally, if possible. I do, actually. Pray tell me their names that I might relay them to her ladyship at once. Uh, I and my companions. Then thou hast companions beyond compare. Lady Yolinda will surely wish to meet thee, a shining example of beauty. Uh, tell me about, be about being Chancellor. I serve as an envoy from Lady Yolinda to the Great Captains. I oversee all the minor details that sh should not worry her ladyship. Like everything. Literally everything. We would not want her to worry her pretty little head about anything. I also exchange various forms of money. If thou dost wish an audience with her, I can examine her schedule. You might be able to get on in two, three years. Tell me about uh, Lady Yolinda. She is the ruler of Fawn and all its environs. All who honor beauty honor Yolinda. She is a wise and compassionate leader. Everyone doth love her. Her beauty is only rivaled by that of Kylista. Uh, Kylista, you said? Kylista is the priestess of beauty. Yolinda is the embodiment of all of Fawn itself. Because Kylista presides over the oracle, she is the personification of beauty. 
Really? Well, tell me more about this oracle. Many people believe that the mages of old Sosaria created the oracle. I do not believe such. I have stood alone in the temple gazing at it, and I will tell thee that it is a living being trapped there in that statue. Those mages did not create a magical item. They summoned some beautiful spirit and trapped it there. Well, that's terrible. We should free it. Uh, tell me about the temple. I often go there when the day hath been difficult. Tis directly behind the palace. Tis so quiet and peaceful, except before a revelation. Um, a revelation? You know when they're going to happen. Are they really revelations? Yes, revelations are quite exciting. A message from the heavens, or at least that poor trapped spirit. Often, tis the only thing many people have to give them hope in these troubled times. Uh, tell me about an audience. Lady Yolinda doth receive visitors and petitions every morning. Let us see. Well, she could receive thee sometime next week. Perhaps if I intercede for thee, thou mightest be received earlier. I shall see what I can arrange. You know, if thou dost perhaps cross my palm with a little silver. All right, goodbye. Um, hey. I went inside. We'll go in there momentarily. At last, the values of the Fellowship have reached into the ranks of the pikemen. I am honored. I am Leon, a speaker of the Fellowship and, the former and a former farmer. Uh, tell me about uh, the Fellowship. Well, the virtues that Lord British expounded on... Uh, expounded, uh, psh, expounded are all very well and good. They're nearly impossible for ordinary people to achieve. Well, they're not meant for ordinary people to achieve. Only one person is meant to achieve them. Me! Moi, the Avatar. I am the Avatar of the Virtues. I embody them all, which is why if you have any valuables in this room, I will have to take them for protection. Simple people need a simple philosophy. The triad of inner strength is the answer. The Fellowship is a group that hath been gaining much popularity in recent years with the people of Britannia. You know it's dead now, right? I killed it. And I was happy to do so. While on the surface it may simply appear to be a scholarly society studying its particular philosophy, its teachings have the power to forever alter the shape of Britannian society. Its ceremonies are deeply moving experiences. Uh, tell me about the Triad of Inner Strength. The Triad of Inner Strength is based on three basic principles that all people can grasp. The first is unity. The next is trust. And the last is worthiness. Tell me about unity. Surely thou must know the importance of learning to cooperate and work together. If we seek to live in harmony with one another, there is nothing we cannot accomplish. One rock doth not make a wall, but many rocks can, with a common purpose. I'm pretty sure that rocks do not have common purpose. Uh, tell me about trust. The main stumbling block to unity lies in a lack of trust. If thou doth dost trust thy brother, thou wouldst not live in fear. Without fear, our lives are happier, and unity may grow and thrive. Uh, but what happens when someone betrays your trust? Uh, worthiness? How wouldst thou feel if all that thou hadst strived for were given to a man who had done nothing to deserve it? How do you determine whether or not they deserve it? I will wager that thou dost, thou wouldst feel the injustice. So, you're a libertarian, aren't you? Uh -huh. If everyone strives to be worthy of that which they seek, such injustices would be few. Let every person be reward rewarded according to their merits, and trust in unity will follow naturally. Following the triad of inner strength allows one to become attuned to the inner voice. You feel that the people who have a lot actually deserve that, right? That they have it all because they deserve it? Yeah, figured as much. Hate you. Uh, tell me about the inner voice. You know it's the guardian, right? The inner voice is with on, within all living beings. It flows from pure instinct and contains all the wisdom and irreproachable logic that anyone would ever need to pe live peacefully and happily. If everyone learned to listen to their inner voice, I could return to Britannia and farm contentedly for the rest of my life. Uh, tell me about the goblins. Without the fine aid of thee and thy monitorian comrades, these poor sailors and I would have been lost long ago. 
Kylister refused us the safety of the city walls, even when the tower fell to the barbaric goblins. I never thought I would rue the day that another intelligent being learned the truths of the Fellowship. But we would be doing far better if the goblins had not found unity under the leadership of Pomdergun. Uh, tell me about the storms. The storms at sea cannot compare to these unnatural occurrences. Their very existence says that we are in a land so far from the natural order of things that even the skies lash out at us. Well, that's kind of true, actually. Patlin was right. We cannot hope to survive if unity is not brought to this place. I don't think that's going to help. Uh, philosophy. The Fellowship advances the philosophy of sanguine cognition, a way to apply a confident order of thought to one's life through what is called the triad of inner strength. I hate you. I really, really hate you. Can I just, like, kill you now and take your stuff? That's the Avatar thing to do, right, everyone? Yeah, pretty sure it is. The triad is simply three basic principles that, when applied in unison, enable one to be more creative, satisfied, and successful in life. They are strive for unity, trust thy brother, and worthiness precedes reward. Strive for unity basically means that people should cooperate and work together. Trust thy brother implies that we are all the same, and that we should not hate or fear each other, except we're not all the same. Worthiness precedes reward, suggests that we must each strive to be worthy of that which we want out of life. Doesn't it also say that uh, um, those who have received a great reward deserved it? Dost thou want to join? No. Oh, well, perhaps thou canst become enlightened another time. No! They said it! No, I thought I was free of that line. You bastard. Uh, tell me about Kylista. She is the priestess of beauty and... She is the priestess of beauty, the cult that controls Fawn. Kylista presides over the Oracle, which never varies in supporting her views. One might suspect that Kylista uses the Oracle to increase her own personal power. But I have no idea how such a thing... W would be accomplished. Pomdergon? He hath but lately declared himself chief of all goblins. Where once they could be discouraged by the mere presence of armed resistance, they now are bold and organized. They no longer flee, but stay and fight. Uh, tell me about, about Batlin. Thou knowest Batlin? Yes, I do. What canst thou tell us of home? What news of his noble cause? It hath been disbanded. This is unthinkable! Surely there hath been some mistake! Oh, there was no mistake. I destroyed it because it was full of evil. Just like you. <clears throat> I mean, uh, there's nothing evil in our principles. Yes, there is. They are meant for all without regard for station or bur of birth. You no, know, that's not entirely true. Patlin must be told of this. If he returns to Britannia to explain to Lord British, I am sure that everything will be settled. Oh, yes, I would dearly love him to return to Britannia. Let's, let's get him to do so. Let's convince him to do so. So I can stab him through the, the heart with my damn... Well, I don't have my damn sword anymore. Well, with various items. Sharp implements. Maybe some dull ones, too. I, I, I'm fine with that. Perhaps our good name was degraded by those wishing to stop our ministering. But that shows a lack of trust. I must meditate on this. My inner voice will no doubt provide an answer for such horrible news. This cannot be! No, hey, get your butt back in here. As always, I am honored that thou choosest to visit me, Elmadre. How may I help thy quest for unity? Alright, never mind. There we go. Hey, I'll take some sausage. Oh, too heavy now? Alright, hold on to the sausage, Shimino. Speaking of, I should probably get something to eat soon. Damn it. There we go. I wasted a pick on that. I hate you. Jerk. Ugh. Art thou following me? I'm a busy man, Malay. I don't even remember exactly what voice I did with him, and it wasn't that long ago. If thy business lies along the route that mine doth, what fault of mine is that? Besides, what hast thou done to warrant thy worries that I might be following thee? Cheeky fellow. Arrogant strangers. Maybe you might be following me. 
Ooh, hello. Oh, Shimino. I'm sure they won't mind me borrowing their uh, their food. There is a fur pallet there. And nothing else. Uh, the only other thing is uh, this little garden up here. Could visit Fawn. Um, but I'm actually kind of thinking that it might be a better idea to... Uh, do the... Is this going to teleport? Yes. No, it just vanished. Damn it. I want, an, I want a good item. A uh, good item? Well, that one just vanished, too. Alright, let's look at the one that I know gets replaced. With an oil lamp. And some more cloth. Well, I'll take it. It's a broken dish, don't care. Alright, we'll get one more decent item. Yeah, Grandfather father Clock, not so much. Hey, butter! Mmm, butter. Alright, well, let's see. Yes, I want you to open the gates. Thank you. All right, so there is uh, something that we could... There's a few things that we could do right now. Uh, we could go into the Silver Seed, which is the... Uh, um, uh, the expansion that was released for the game that, of course, is included in this. Uh, let's actually go drop off some uh, junk here. You have anything that I want to drop off? Um, I could probably just pick up this uh, barrel at some point and wander around selling the stuff that's in it. Something tells me that monetary coins are really big. Alright, so we kept the, uh, the ring. Um, I guess we'll put it in here. I don't think we need it anymore. Okay, that is the explanation of the old uh, system. Guess we don't really need those anymore. And we'll get rid of that pair of boots, that pair of pants. Those rubber ga uh, leather ga gauntlets. Okay. So if Luther is the only one on the list field, then we might be able to do something with him. What are we at? Uh, 16 hits, not that many. All right, he is. Is anyone else here? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, train? Uh, Elmadretta. Uh, well, I could train with, uh, Luther. Yep. I will train thee now! Um... We don't actually get an op option for a two-handed sword. We'll go with the halberd. Yeah. 
and we follow automatically. I wouldn't have believed it. Thou didst beat me in a fair fight. Thou art one hell of a warrior, Almadretta. And we're done. Okay. Um, that wasn't too bad. Uh, where did my sword go? Oh, in there. That's odd place. Did I have another bag? I feel like I might have. Uh, let me double check. Because I'm a little bit worried about uh, um, losing some of the bags that I had get created by the uh, a storm. It's a... Might... It's a potential problem. No, it looks like I just had the one. Okay, good. Alright, so, um, I was able to defeat him in training. Is he still here? I do not see him. Nope, does not look like he's there anymore. I wonder if we're going to open this door. Does not seem so. Okay, well, I'll figure out what's in there later. Alright, so I got some training. Um... Now I have a strength of uh, 21. My hits should go up to 21 as well. Uh, so I can carry some more uh, stuff. Yep, 42. Let's see. Anyone else? Oh, Iolo. Uh, let's actually get him uh, trained with strength as well. Uh, train. Uh, Iolo. Luther. 9 a.m. and noon. Nobody? So did I just get him in time? Uh, no? I don't know. Okay, well, um... Uh, what about, uh... I suppose we could rest until, uh, the next day. Alright, so it should be about, uh, 6 a.m., so let's go with three hours. I imagine that everyone is going to be quite hungry now. Come on, guys. Yep. Yep, everyone is hungry. All right. Actually, Shimino, you have some food, don't you? Um, did I give those back to... Oh, no, it went into your belt. That's right. Here you go, Iolo. Have some butter. It's healthy for you. And some bread. Some cheese. You can have some bread. Snossages. Snossages! Mmm, snossages. Okay, what else? Uh, you can have the chicken. I will have these... Uh, Sausages. So tasty. Some bread. Alright, you don't want any bread. Chicken filled you up. I am good.
All right, everyone. Uh, everyone is good now. Good. Okay, and what time is it now? Nine twenty a.m. All right, good. Of course, you have a bad feeling. No, 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 no. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Let's see if we can get in there. Uh, fight. Elmadretta. The halberd. Okay, Luther is in there. Oh crap! There are more people. I have beaten thee. Damn it! Well, that's a little unfortunate. Interesting choice there. Alright, well... Come on, guys. There we go. Alright, I'm going to have to work on that a little bit more at another point, I think. Um, eh, whatever. Not exactly sure what to do to get there with uh, um, no one else around. Ooh, I never, never yoinked this cache. Let's go ahead and do that. Now I did here, so you had nothing else on you. Well. You know what? Uh, what we can do, uh, get some more experience. Um, see what we can do about uh, heading into the Goblin Forest. Uh, might be able to get that Helm of Courage. Let's go ahead and open the gate. I think that's a good idea. Well, first of all, let's see what's over this way. We've got some uh, ruins. What well, got teleported here? Just pumice. A basket. Eh, it's okay. Now let me see if there's anything of interest by these ruins. Um, there might be. I'm not sure if we can do anything with it just yet, but... Uh, we'll go take a look. There's a door here. There are some stairs up. They don't appear to do anything, though. Well. I do not see anything in here. Oh, that's disappointing. I'll goblin with Albert. Wow, that... Goblin is, uh... It's being really annoying. Alright, guys, come on. So, uh, you're a little bit... Uh, were you just punch? Maybe that's part of the problem. You did not put that away and pull that out. There we go. All right, uh, there we go. Uh, let's see, I'm okay, Dupre's okay, Shimino is not, Niolo is not. Well, you've got some healing items. All right, how are you guys doing now? Nine and two. How are you guys don't suck so much? What do you say to that? Seriously, this is this is chewing through my uh, my bandages, you know. Well, there go all my bandages. <laughs> oh well. What the heck the goblin was doing out here anyway? Just one lone goblin. 
Oh, you know what? I'm I'm kind of dumb. Also, you are out of uh, weapons. That's part of oh. Well, time to get a another uh, hundred uh, monetary. Why not? All right, no weapons on him, but um, might be able to get some money from his body. <laughs> just that's just hilarious. The two carrying the two bodies. That's great. Love it. Oh wow, that's just completely full back up. There we go. Alright. I do need to find another uh weapon for Iolo though. Should have picked up that halberd that was dropped. Um I suppose I could probably buy him some bolts now that I think about it. Was that a fox? N huh. A blink ring. And a winged viper. I might as well kill the, the winged viper. I want this blink ring. You know what? I'm curious. Hack mover on. Alright, so it was actually up in a... Uh, A tree. Well, let's take the blink ring. There we go. It's interesting. Alright, let's uh, turn off hack mover again. Oh, I could have just hack moved myself into the... Y you know what? Let's do that. <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> don't have to just... Don't have to talk to that guy now. Come on, guys. There we go. Uh, let's see. Do you sell bolts? Crossbow bolts? I hope. Uh, you know what? I haven't actually talked to him. Let's uh, ask him about Brunt. Let me tell you. When in the trade of blacksmith, one doth develop mu his muscles. I am no weakling, I, I can assure thee. But this fellow Brunt, who did accompany the sage battling through town, could probably hoist me with his weak arm. Not the brightest of fellows, mind thee, but strong as an ox. He bested me in the tournament, but not by skill, by sheer muscle. All right, let's buy. Um, I am interested in buying. Uh, weapons. Bow, arrows, crossbow, quarrels. Let's haggle. Six. Damn it. Haggle. Haggle. There we go. Fourteen. Haggle. Fifteen. Haggle. Many thanks, my lady. Thou hast agreed to a price of fourteen monetary, my friend. Yes. Uh, how many bundles, uh, would I like? So you can get five bundles. Yes. Uh, quarrels. 
Nah, we'll do it later. Goodbye. Alright, so there are my corals. Probably going to be overloaded with that. Yeah. Well, I'm lazy, so... Hack move it. Alright, that is awfully heavy. Um, I will probably want to uh, get him some training. Did I not pull out the uh, the crossbow? I didn't put it on his belt. <laughs> Said it was too heavy when I tried to equip it. That was, that was a little amusing. Not gonna lie. Okay, hello. How's it going? Do those, uh... Well, those uh, um, urns are actually still there. Uh, duties, body, yes, bye. Whee! And wait for it. I think we might need to get that off there. Alright, we'll get our money. Uh, payment. Duties. Body. Yes. Thou dost not carry a pikeman? I can only pay thee for bringing me the bodies of fallen knights. Only they deserve such respect. Goodbye. So, what that means is Schmidt is not a pikeman. Well, it's fine by me. I don't care. All right, uh, Dupre, you can hold that. And I suppose I should get up my weapon again. <laughs> could totally run around fighting with the wooden sword. Seems like a bad idea. Just, Just going to put that out there, though. Alrighty, uh, let's see, what else was I going to do? Oh, um, actually it's uh, about the end of the episode, so um, in the next one, uh, I'll get on the other side of the wall. I'll do it right now. And uh, we'll go back up and um, see if we can find out some more about, uh, you know, who maybe who the traitor is. Find out some more information about the, uh, the goblins. And um, we'll just see what we see up there. Anyway. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.